Hi Shaheen. Hi there. So how's it been since uh, your audition went out on the television on Saturday? It's been crazy but you know it's been a lot of publicity and I'm really enjoying it. It's been a great fun. So uh, what, what, uh, what's the pub, what's the sort of response been from everyone you've met in Swansea since you? It's been really positive response and I'm so glad because it's all gone exactly the way I could have couldn't have dreamt of it would go because it's been amazing and I'm so happy and glad and it's gone perfectly. So uh, what was it what was it like at the audition uh, sort of performing in front of the judges? It was crazy I mean I, th I felt like I was watching it on television but I wasn't I was actually standing there living the dream I couldn't believe it it was actually amazing. So uh, when I mean Simon Cowell is pretty scary for anybody so I mean if you're if you're only 12 and you stand up there in front of sing, singing in front of Simon Cowell for the first time I mean that must have been pretty nerve-wracking. It was but um, all day I kind of been cool and calm until I actually walked out onto that stage and I seen the three judges just sitting there waiting you know to hear me sing. It was just completely nerve-wracking but you know as soon as I started singing I became somebody else and it was just it was just an amazing feeling. So now you, you sang your Amy Winehouse one and then unfortunately he sort of stopped you Sort of uh, after you sort of started singing that. So, uh, what was it like? What was it? What, what what was going through your mind when he stopped you singing? When he stopped me singing, it was so nerve-wracking. You know, I thought this was my one chance blown. But you know, when he asked me to sing a second song, I was so blessed and touched. I was so happy that you know Simon Cowell of all three judges gave me a second chance, and I'm so grateful. So, did you have sort of the Michael Jackson one prepared before? Did you know that you had a second song backed up? Yeah, we were told to bring a second song just in case for a backup, and you know they needed it. Yes. So when he said. Uh, when he, when he said you couldn't sing Amy Winehouse, you were thinking, right, well, Michael Jackson's going to be my big one that I'm yeah, going to... Yeah, so I just went for it and, you know, I became somebody else and I just sung it. Okay, and um, so what which uh, what kind of singers do you want to be like if you sort of make it in the, in the music, music industry? Who do you want to sort of emulate? I'd love, to, you know, to be as big as Michael Jackson, Lou Lewis, Beyonce. I'd love to be, you know, up there with the Hollywood stars. I'd love to have this big voice, you know, that can just speak to people. So uh, what kind of stuff have you got planned for sort of later in the competition? What kind of songs do you think you'll try if you get further in the, in the competition? I'm not sure, you know, I think I'm just going to keep brainstorming, keep thinking of different songs that I like, and then, you know, hopefully I might come up with something. Now, you've always got your mum with you, she's always looking after you, so I mean, is she a good, big support with, with your singing? Yeah, my mum's a great support, you know, whatever happens, she, she, she agrees with me, you know. I could turn around tomorrow and say I don't want to do this anymore, and she would be completely with me 100% of the way, and I'm so grateful. Fantastic. Lovely to speak to you. You too. Thank you very much.